Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for thanks for joining us. This session's been uh, uh, checkered flag, so it'll be, get quiet for us very soon. I'd like to invite Victor Lalou, our motorsport manager for BMW North America, to come up here. We because we have something to unveil, don't we? I think we do. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting because it's not every day you get to unveil a new uh, GT3 spec car. At the end of the day, even though the, 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 the specifications have been out there for a little while, it's only the third generation BMW GT3 spec, so it comes uh, to replace the BMW M6 GT3 that's had a fairly long and illustrious career. Lots of wins, continues to win, leading the currently the IMSA championship in GTD class. Uh, so large boots to fill, but also a lot of lessons learned in the past six years to uh, put into this new car um, that I think we should take a look at, the BMW M4 GT3 that is due to make its competition debut around the world and here in North America uh, in January of 2022 at the Rolex 24 in Daytona, correct? For instance. For instance. Okay, so um, this is the North American premiere of the car. It's been shown in Europe a couple of places, done some testing in Europe, but this is the first time we're gonna get to see it in North America. And I'd like to invite uh, Bill Oberlin, wherever he is, to come on up and help, uh, help Victor take the cover off for us. beauty. I'd like to invite Jan Hartman to come up here from BMW M Motorsport. Tell us a few technical details about the car. Yeah, so uh, thank you Tom, thank you Victor for having me here. I'm happy to present some technical yeah. details of the car. Uh, let's start with the inner values, uh, with the engine for example. It's uh, the R6 from the M4 from the street car mainly in it. It's modified about the periphery to adapt it to the regulations and uh, we developed it in horsepowers a little bit more than the old M6 has had. So this gives a little margin for the BOP. So roughly how, ma how much horsepower? Uh, ma five, 590 horse. Okay, so inline six, 505 horse max and then it can be BOP down from there presumably. It, for sure it will, but we give the authorities the margin. Excellent. And Any other good points? Yeah, I think we should uh, also talk about the gearbox. Uh, we took the basics of this gearbox from the known M8 GTLM. It's an extract uh, gearbox, so uh, it's for handling and for reliability a big step forward. And we should uh, also say a word about the systems uh, word. But before we leave transmission, just for people who don't know, understand race cars, so this transmission is a transaxle at the back of the car, right? Absolutely. Okay. It's on the back of the car, so this means the gearbox and the rear axle, the differential, is in one box on the rear axle. And we do that for weight distribution? It's for weight distribution to have it mainly a good balanced car. Okay. And also, the coming back to the engine, it's 40 kilo lighter than the M6 engine, so this gives uh, also the possibility to balance the car pretty much neutral. So tell us about the electronics. The electronic world has changed completely. It's a new system, it's completely from Bosch hardware. This means a motorsport ECU. That, that was Bosch, right? Not, not that other brand? No, not that other Okay, I, I thought I heard something else, but... Bosch. Okay. Yeah, it is. With a B. Yeah. With a B in front. <laughs> <laughs> and also the display is the so-called DDU-10, is the latest development from Bosch. So uh, this has an uh, um, effect on programming it. So the uh, BMW and Motorsport software engineers put a lot of software knowledge into it and this means this car can be run and uh, adapted to a racetrack from system side just without the laptop. So just the mechanic can sit inside the driver and you can do all your fire up and whatever you have to do on the car. Through the steering wheel and the display. Exactly. Okay. exactly. 
and a complete new traction control is in it, so it's also uh, in 12 steps to be adapted. This was always the wish from, uh, from the drivers. And uh, yeah, this is mainly the thing in the systems work. It's an easier life. You can also download data just with a USB stick. Thank you, Jan. I'm going to ask uh, Victor a couple more questions. So Victor, where are we going to see this? And what's your prognosis yeah. for the upcoming season with this car? I'll refrain from a prognosis for, the, for fear of appearing arrogant or on the contrary uh, uh, not optimistic enough but uh, plenty of reason to believe in the success of this car uh, as, as we mentioned before it's it's built per gt3 regulation so it is essentially a, a global spec car it can be used around the world and that means here in north america we can expect to see it in the imsa weather tech sports car championship both in the GTD class as it exists today and in the new GTD Pro class that will start next year, more or less replacing the, the current GTLM class. But it also be eligible for the uh, SRO Fanatec GT World Challenge America series. So we're gonna have a chance to see the car both in a sprint and in an endurance format in North America. Speaking of Fanatec, I saw the steering wheel in the car is a Fanatec steering wheel. Yeah, correct. It's uh, It's been developed with Fanatec and it, as a matter of fact, you can plug it into a, a racing simulator and using both in the real car as well as your sim Perfect. So let me pass it over to Bill here to say a couple words. What, what do you think, Bill? Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, aside from it looking already fast, just sitting here, uh, I spoke to all my teammates and all the development work uh, in Europe and they said, this is by far the best GT car they've ever driven. So that means that these guys are very qualified guys. I cannot wait to get my hands on that steering. I'm ready to go. Like right, I'm right now. Yeah. Right. 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 But I'd like to invite the, our other two BMW Motorsport drivers to come out and have a look, and we'll be around to answer questions and uh, take photos. Um, thank you for all joining with us. The car will be here. The rest of the day today, it will move to Legend City Autobahn tomorrow and it will be back here on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Just a lot of functions. I mean, we can set uh, for tweaking, like, like different.